your number one news team covering the North. The Bahamas Tonight, Northern Edition. Welcome back. The 30 children who reside in the Grand Bahama Children's Home have been displaced since Hurricane Dorian damaged the facility. The children have since been in New Providence while the home has been receiving repairs. While there is good news to report tonight as those children will soon return home, Community and Social Outreach Chairperson of the International Federation of Women Lawyers, Grand Bahama Chapter Hadassah Swain says they're pleased to partner with Rotary to welcome the children back to the island. The children are set to return on Friday, October 2nd and there is a big celebration planned for their return under the theme, Tie a Yellow Ribbon. The symbol of a yellow ribbon became very popular in the 1970s as an indication or a reminder to an absent loved one that they were welcomed home upon their return. So on behalf of well, Rotary and also the International Federation of Women Lawyers. We are inviting our business um, community as well as residents that will be on the procession route when the children arrive at the airport and travel throughout the streets of Grand Bahama to the home to dress their, their businesses or their homes in yellow or yellow ribbon preferably um, as, um, as an indication to the children that they acknowledge that they have returned and they embrace them as they finally return back to the island. The procession route will take the children from the airport, um, traveling um, from the airport onto Settlers Way, then onto Coral Road, um, onto the um, East Sunrise Highway, and then up the East Mall. Um, after East Mall, they will be taken on Pioneers Way and then be brought um, directly to the home. Assistant Area Governor of Rotary Darren Cooper says the service organization continues to be committed to lending their support wherever they can and they are encouraging public participation. I want to encourage as many business owners along with our Rotarians to drape their business in yellow as well as to encourage their staff to wear yellow on that day so that we can let our kids know that they are welcome back uh, to their upgraded um, well renovated home here in Grand Bahama. These are our kids um, and we take on that responsibility um, and so it's very important that we continue to lend the support, show the love and so it's important for us as Rotarians as well as um, members of the business community to support the home and to also show love to our kids. Now the children are expected to return from New Providence at 9.15 a.m. on Friday, October 2nd. Switching gears now, members of the Police Staff Association are preparing to head to the polls next week to elect a new team to take the organization forward. The organization, which was formed in 1997, represents officers from the ranks of constable to inspector and seeks to serve the interest and welfare of those officers. Now, nomination day is scheduled for tomorrow. Corporal Lincoln Dawkins, director of the Northern Bahamas branch, which includes Abaco, Bimini, and the surrounding key, says he plans to offer for himself for re-election. Nomination forms can be collected from the Bahamas Police Credit Union office in the 17 Mall between the hours of 9 a.m. and 12 noon tomorrow. Election day, though, is set for next Thursday, October 1st. The Coalition of Concerned Citizens continuing its fight for lower electricity rates on Grand Bahama. The organization is set to host a virtual town hall meeting tomorrow, Thursday, September 24th at 7 p.m. via Facebook and Zoom. The topics that will be discussed are GBPC storm recovery charges, estimation of bills, the economic impact of high electricity rates, Emera's ownership of GBPC and reducing costs through solar energy. For more information, on the virtual town hall meeting, the public is advised to call or WhatsApp telephone number 646-9494. Once again, that number is 646-9494. Stay with us. We'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> 